back to my channel thank you all for tuning in to my new and old subscribers today i'll be doing a question and answer mixed in with a get to know me tag i feel like i just jumped in to youtube and i didn't even introduce myself properly. i'm so sorry y'all you know sometimes i just get so excited i just i want to get started as soon as possible if you guys want to know more about me please keep on watching Where am I from? I am from a small city called Sebastian, somewhere that no one really knows about. Yeah, it's a very small retirement um, city. I was originally born in um, Fort Lauderdale and I was raised in Sebastian, Florida, pretty much my whole life. What is my nationality? Well, I was born in the United States of America, and my parents are both Jamaican, so I guess that makes me Jamaican. One love to Jamaica, shout out to y'all. <coughs> Where are you currently living? I am currently living in Gainesville, Florida. Are you a student? Yes, I am a student. I am a second year student at Santa Fe State. College and I am planning on getting my AA this December, so wish me luck. I'm almost there, almost done. What is your biggest inspiration? My biggest inspiration is basically inspiring others. I aspire to inspire others. I want others to look at me and say, you know what, because she did it, I can do it. Because she said it, I can. I just want to be that good example, that good role model. That's really what pushes me. Because people are watching you. People are always seeing how you're handling things. And if you can handle it in a good, positive way, people can imitate that and continue to pass on good examples and good leadership roles and so forth. What inspired me to do YouTube? A lot inspired me to do YouTube. Well, aside from me wanting to be a TV and radio personality, I just felt like YouTube is a great way to give back. I feel like I can share a lot of advice, I can share a lot of tips, and I feel like it would be selfish of me not to share the world what I can do. Um, so I always wanted to do it since like 2013, and I never really had the things I need to get started. And I still don't have the things that I can get started, so I really, in reality, I should have started like years ago but now I'm starting and I'm just so happy that I did I finally did and I don't see myself stopping anytime soon because I love it I love the positive feedback that I see I think it's a very positive place to grow my favorite TV show um, as of right now my favorite TV show has to be <sighs> is love and hip hop nah it's empire where would you like to visit and why I honestly, as much as I'm scared of flying, I actually would fly all the way to Barcelona so I can see what it is out there. Like, when I watched the movie Cheetah Girls, y'all know what I'm talking about. I mean, it was beautiful from the people, from the culture, to the singing. I just, I had, I just gotta go there at least once in my lifetime. Like, it's beautiful. Like, the culture is just, oh my gosh, I gotta go there. My favorite genres, I have a lot of favorite genres from like jazz, um, R&B, old folk, blah, blah, blah. But my prime genre is definitely uh, R&B. I am an R&B girl. Like, I can get down to some R&B music if it's fast, slow. That is just one genre that definitely seeps into my soul. Like, it just seeps into my soul. I mean, definitely anything from like the 80s, the 90s, I'm definitely in that category. That's where you will find me listening to certain music of that of that era. Because that had the best music, it made sense, it had a message behind all of them. I just definitely love um, music around that time period. I mean, you can give me Janet Jackson. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
give me some Jodeci. Give me John B. like any day. Even Luther Vandross, like, who doesn't know who that is? If you don't, you sleep. Y'all remember Bobby Brown back in the day? What is your favorite color? My favorite color is gold. I don't know why I just love gold because it stands out. I'm all about standing out and being an original. And I feel like that is one color that just makes anything pop. And I'm all about it. Gold, 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 any day. Uh, what is one pet peeve that you have? One pet peeve that I have is someone that is always trying to correct every mistake that I make. Like, whether it's pronouncing a word wrong or saying, you know, something incorrectly. It's just like, can I be human and mess up every now and then? Like, don't even they don't even give you a chance to, like, correct yourself. They just automatically, uh, don't you mean? Or, yeah, you mean that way? Like, can I, can I live? Like, ugh. What is your favorite restaurant? My favorite restaurant would have to be the Cheesecake Factory, hands down. Like, I love cheesecake. I love their food. I love the setup. It looks so fancy, but it's not so expensive. And it's like, I love it. What is your favorite ice cream? My favorite ice cream is cookies and cream all day, every day. Any nicknames? Yes, people go a little far-fetched with nicknames when it comes to my name like it's from Monique Way, Monique, Monizzle, Mooney Ugh. but you know what honestly I don't care you can get comfortable with me whatever is comfortable with you um the normal the main nicknames that I usually get called is like Mo, Momo pretty simple piercings I have in total three piercings. I recently got this done and I got the I got my ears done actually last year for the first time. I know. But yeah, I just recently got my nose pierced on November 13th and it's in the process of healing and I honestly don't plan on having any more piercings. I'm good. Righty or lefty. Righty or lefty. Righty or lefty. I'm a lefty. I'm a lefty. Currently eating, um, not currently eating anything, but before this video, I was munching on these. These are like my new favorite. I love these. I gotta get this. It's like healthy. It's easy. To, it's easy to eat. Like I can't stop eating this. Like this is my third bag. It's like through that. But I love them so much. Do you model? Mm -hmm. Yes, actually, I have modeled here and there, but I actually decided to put that aside and kind of focus on school first. I feel like. A good model is a smart model and I just want to get a little further along in my education and then I'll definitely glow up. Just wait on it. Blush or bronzer? You know, that's kind of a hard one because I use both every day. So I'll have to go for my bronzer because a good highlight is like everything to me. So heels or wedges? I'm definitely a wedge girl. Like, I'm so clumsy. I'm a little unstable. So I'm going to need to have something that can keep me balanced because, yeah, I don't need to be busting my neck or my back and heels. So wedges are just easier for me. What is your favorite feature? I guess my favorite feature would have to be my eyes because, you know, when I want to start face. Favorite season is fall, of course. Qualities, what are the qualities that I look for in a friend? Um, when it comes to a friend, I look for someone who is loyal, who remembers a lot of things about me, who understands me, who isn't forgetful, who involves me, someone who can make me laugh, someone who can get my mind off of the realities of life, just someone that I can have a good time with. They can tell me the truth about them and I can tell the truth about myself and we can still be cool. And 
me and you would be the best of friends. Single or taken? <laughs> Have you played any sports? Yes, I did. I played... The only sport I really played was track and field all the way. I started in second grade and I continued on with it until my senior year in high school. Um, in high school, I did long jump, triple jump, the 100, 200 meters. So I was definitely a spinner. I missed track so much. I mean, my body was just like in shape and ever since I got to college I stopped working out so it's just like I got so used to working out with a coach it's hard for me to work out by myself but yeah I definitely did track for a good amount of years I actually wanted to go to the Olympics for I was that serious of it but I don't know I kind of got interested in other things and I realized that I was good at other stuff so I kind of just put I literally hung my spikes up um, it's in my closet and they're hung up and I don't def I don't forget about track I miss it and I'll always be a track girl at heart do you have any regrets currently the only thing that I'm granting y'all gonna think this is so crazy but there was a time where I went to a particular store and I seen this dress it was so beautiful it was like a tan suede dress and I felt like I would be a goddess in it like but I was just like, I need to stop spending money. I actually had it, but I was trying to be good. But I figured it would be there next time I go to that particular store. And I went to that particular store, and it was gone. I was heartbroken. And even until this day, I'm still going in this particular store and looking for it, and it's gone. So y'all, if y'all have something that y'all really want to buy, y'all have the money to buy it, I'm telling you, just buy it because you're going to regret it. You know, wish you got it because now I can't get that dress. I could have slayed in that dress, and someone else is slaying in it now. Someone else is slaying in it. Who is your favorite YouTuber? Currently, my favorite YouTuber it has to be Raven. I followed her from back when she was in college. That girl has showed me the art of spray paint. That girl literally took spray paint and made her room new by making her lamps a different color the frame her frames different color like I totally adopted that technique and I'm still using it today I love how she keeps it real she's authentic she's natural on camera and I totally love her vibe like she's very interesting she keeps her viewers engaged and I hope to get like her one day because she is my inspiration and she's she makes it known that she's just an ordinary girl that just loves YouTube. She's not trying to be changed by it. She does have a large numbers. She does have a large number of subscribers, but she definitely doesn't let that get to her head. And she considers herself just an ordinary girl. And I totally admire that. I respect that. And that's why she's my favorite YouTuber. That completes my get to know me tag and question and answer. I hope this was informative to you guys and I hope you all feel like you know me just a little bit more. I feel a little bit more comfortable to be honest just because you guys will have an idea of who I am. If you guys have any more questions, please leave your comments below. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Until next time.